More than 1 billion individuals inhabit the global coastal region. The increasing sea levels are already impacting the people living in coastal areas and exacerbating pre-existing coastal dangers. Tsunamis are among the most destructive natural disasters that can occur, capable of causing immense devastation and loss of life. The destructive power of a tsunami is primarily derived from the vast amount of energy it carries across the ocean. Unleashed upon reaching the coast, when a tsunami approaches shallow water near the shoreline, its characteristics change dramatically. The tsunami's energy causes the water level to rise rapidly, resulting in a powerful surge of water rushing inland. This surge can inundate coastal areas, causing widespread flooding and destroying everything in its path. The most notorious example in recent history was the Indian Ocean Tsunami of 2004, which resulted in the loss of hundreds of thousands of lives and caused widespread destruction across multiple countries. The enormity of its impact serves as a grim reminder of the potential devastation tsunamis can inflict. Since then, significant efforts have been made to improve early warning systems and disaster preparedness in tsunami-prone regions. Organizations such as the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center and regional networks have been established to monitor seismic activity and issue alerts in the event of a potential tsunami. These systems aim to provide timely information and evacuation protocols to at-risk populations. However, despite these advancements, the possibility of a worst-case scenario tsunami occurring again cannot be completely ruled out. In fact, there are a lot of speculations going around that such a disaster could happen again. And this prospect of the worst tsunami in history occurring again in 2023 is a matter of great concern. While it's important to acknowledge the devastating impact of tsunamis on coastal regions, predicting such a catastrophic event with absolute certainty is exceptionally challenging. In this video, we will show you all you need to know about this alarming prediction. How are tsunamis formed, and why are they so destructive? Before diving further into this discussion, it's essential to understand the science behind tsunami formation to grasp the destructive nature of this natural calamity fully. Tsunamis are formed by large-scale undersea disturbances such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or major landslides that displace large volumes of water. These disturbances release an enormous amount of energy, propagating through the ocean through long wavelength waves. Tsunamis can travel across entire ocean basins, reaching far off coastlines with devastating consequences. The formation of a tsunami typically involves the following processes. Undersea earthquake. Most tsunamis are generated by undersea earthquakes. When tectonic plates in the Earth's crust shift and release built-up energy, it causes the seafloor to uplift or subside abruptly. This sudden ocean floor displacement creates a series of waves that radiate outward from the earthquake's epicenter. Vertical displacement. The displacement of the seafloor during an undersea earthquake can create a significant vertical displacement of the water column above it. If the seafloor uplifts, it pushes the water above it upward. While a subsiding seafloor causes the water to sink, this vertical motion sets the initial wave in motion. Wave propagation. The initial wave generated by the earthquake spreads out in all directions across the ocean's surface. Due to the long wavelengths of tsunamis, their speed can exceed that of typical wind-driven waves. While wind-generated waves are mostly limited to the ocean's uppermost layer, tsunamis can propagate through the entire water column, reaching depths of thousands of meters. Shoaling and Amplification As the tsunami approaches shallower waters near the coast, the wave encounters the rising ocean floor. This causes the wave to slow down, compress, and increase in height. The shoaling effect can cause the tsunami to transform into a powerful and destructive surge of water, known as a run-up, as it reaches the coastline. These phenomena could be seen in the devastating 2004 tsunami. However, one question remains. How does the tsunami become so catastrophic? The destructive nature of tsunamis arises from several factors. Energy concentration. Tsunamis carry enormous energy, allowing them to travel vast distances across the ocean. This concentrated energy is unleashed when the tsunami reaches shallow waters, resulting in a powerful and destructive wave that inundates the coastline. Wave height and inland penetration. Tsunamis can generate immense wave heights, often reaching tens of meters or more. These towering waves can overwhelm coastal defenses, flood coastal areas, and penetrate far inland. 
Their ability to travel inland surpassing typical tidal ranges makes them particularly destructive. Speed and Force Tsunamis can travel at high speeds across the ocean, often exceeding 500 miles per hour or 800 kilometers per hour. This incredible speed combined with the force of the water allows them to impact coastal areas with great velocity and power. Subsequent Effects Tsunamis can trigger secondary effects that further contribute to their destructive impact. These include flooding, erosion, and transporting large amounts of debris. The powerful surge of water and the debris it carries can cause significant damage to structures, infrastructure, and natural ecosystems. How to predict the tsunami? Could it happen in 2023? Predicting tsunamis with absolute certainty is a complex task, but significant progress has been made in understanding the warning signs and implementing early detection systems. These are the same measures applied to predict the 2023 tsunami that might be the worst in history. Scientists are continually striving to discover innovative methods for predicting the behavior of tsunamis. However, due to the limitations of current technology, we often receive most tsunami data after the devastating damage has already occurred. After a tsunami event, geologists conduct thorough surveys to measure various factors. Of particular interest to scientists are the inundation and run-up features that occur when the waves reach the land. Inundation refers to the maximum horizontal distance that the tides have penetrated inland, while run-up signifies the maximum vertical distance above sea level that the tides have reached. Geologists determine these measurements by assessing the extent of vegetation destruction, analyzing scattered debris along the affected land, and collecting eyewitness accounts of the incident. Nonetheless, significant progress has been made in the monitoring and prediction of tsunamis. One prominent center that continuously monitors seismic events and changes in tide levels is the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center, or PTWC, located in Iwa Beach, Hawaii. The PTWC serves the Hawaiian Islands and the surrounding U.S. territories, working collaboratively with other regional centers. Similarly, the West Coast and Alaska Tsunami Warning Center, or ATWC, in Palmer, Alaska, plays a crucial role in the Aleutian Islands area as well as British Columbia, Washington State, Oregon, and California. The center holds particular importance due to the occurrence of submarine earthquakes in this region that have generated waves propagating across the vast Pacific Ocean, potentially impacting distant areas. A combination of open ocean buoys and coastal tide gauges are deployed to detect tsunamis, reporting essential information to monitoring stations within the respective regions. Tide stations meticulously measure sea level changes every minute. While seismograph stations record earthquake activity, a tsunami watch is initiated if a center detects an earthquake of magnitude 7.5 or higher. Civil defense agencies are then promptly notified and data from tidal gauge stations are closely monitored. If a threatening tsunami triggers the gauge stations, a tsunami warning is issued to all potentially affected areas, followed by the implementation of evacuation procedures in those regions. The Deep Ocean Assessment and Reporting of Tsunamis DART system employs specialized pressure recorders positioned on the ocean floor. These recorders can detect even slight changes in the water pressure above them. The DART system is capable of detecting tsunamis as small as a centimeter in height above sea level, providing valuable early warning information. NASA also actively participates in the pursuit of predicting deadly tsunamis before they occur. In 2010, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory researchers achieved a significant milestone by demonstrating elements of a prototype tsunami prediction system. By utilizing real-time data from NASA's Global Differential GPS GDGPS network, the system successfully predicted the size of the tsunami following the February 27, 2010 Chilean earthquake. In the future, such a system may enable more effective advanced warning of incoming waves. Notably, the warning systems deployed during the 2011 Japan tsunami functioned adequately. However, the unprecedented size of the event proved so devastating. On May 19, 2023, an earthquake of magnitude 7.7 .7 jolted southeast of the Loyalty Islands in the French territory of New Caledonia, and the risk of tsunami waves across the South Pacific. Warnings have already been issued by the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center (PTWC), and the threat of further eruptions has led to speculations of another devastating tsunami. The fundamental challenge with tsunamis is that they cannot be stopped once they are set in motion. 
Scientists and civil agencies can only devote resources to predicting tsunamis and formulating effective plans to protect coastal areas from the ravages caused by these powerful natural phenomena. Continuous efforts are underway to refine and enhance prediction capabilities, improve early warning systems, and increase public awareness to mitigate the destructive impact of tsunamis. The destruction caused by the worst tsunami in history. Throughout history, there have been several catastrophic tsunamis that have caused immense destruction, loss of life, and far-reaching impacts on affected regions. These tsunamis remain seared in the collective memory due to the enduring lessons they have imparted. To stop this damage from happening again in 2023, it's necessary to take lessons from them and take the required precautionary measures. Apart from the 2004 tsunami, other ones have also caused large-scale destruction. Stretching over three centuries, these are the worst tsunamis in recorded history that might be superseded in 2023. Indian Ocean Tsunami 2004 The Indian Ocean Tsunami triggered by a massive undersea earthquake off the coast of Sumatra, Indonesia on December 26, 2004, remains one of the deadliest natural disasters in history. The tsunami was triggered by a rupture in the Earth's crust along the Sunda Trench. The resulting earthquake, the strongest ever recorded, lasted several minutes and displaced enormous amounts of water. The waves radiated across the Indian Ocean, devastatingly reaching coastal areas. Entire communities were obliterated and infrastructure was destroyed. The magnitude 9.1 to 9.3 earthquake generated a series of tsunamis that struck coastal areas of 14 countries, including Indonesia, Sri Lanka, India, Thailand, and the Maldives. It is estimated that more than 230,000 people lost their lives, and millions were affected by the widespread destruction of homes and livelihoods. The hardest hit areas included Banda Aceh in Indonesia, where entire neighborhoods were wiped out. The impact of this tsunami led to a massive international relief effort and significant advancements in early warning systems for tsunamis. Tohoku Tsunami 2011 the Great East Japan Earthquake, with a magnitude of 9.0, struck off the northeastern coast of Japan on March 11, 2011. The earthquake generated a massive tsunami that reached heights of up to 40 meters or 131 feet. The waves inundated coastal communities, causing widespread devastation and triggering a nuclear disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The Tohoku tsunami claimed nearly 16,000 lives, displaced hundreds of thousands of people, and caused extensive damage to infrastructure, including ports, buildings, and roads. Krakatoa Tsunami 1883 The eruption of the Krakatoa volcano, located between the islands of Java and Sumatra in present-day Indonesia, on August 27, 1883, resulted in one of the most catastrophic tsunamis in history. The eruption itself was among the most powerful in recorded history and triggered a collapse of the volcano's caldera. This led to a colossal tsunami that raced across the region, with waves reaching heights of up to 40 meters or 131 feet. The waves devastated coastal communities in Java and Sumatra, sweeping away entire villages and claiming the lives of more than 36,000 people and causing extensive damage to coastal settlements. The Krakatoa tsunami had a far-reaching impact, with reports of the waves being observed as far as the English Channel. Lisbon Tsunami 1755 The Great Lisbon Earthquake, with an estimated magnitude of 8.5 to 9.0, struck the city of Lisbon, Portugal on November 1, 1755. The earthquake triggered a powerful tsunami that engulfed the city and its surrounding areas, the tsunami waves reached heights of up to 20 meters or 66 feet and caused significant destruction along the Portuguese coast, as well as in Morocco and Spain. The combined effects of the earthquake, tsunami, and resulting fires resulted in the loss of tens of thousands of lives and widespread devastation across the affected regions. Nankaido Tsunami 1707 the Nankaido earthquake, estimated to have a magnitude of 8.6 to 9.0, occurred off the coast of southwestern Japan on January 28, 1707. The earthquake generated a massive tsunami that struck the shores of the Honshu and Shikoku Islands. The waves, reaching heights of up to 25 meters or 82 feet, caused extensive damage along the coastline, including the destruction of numerous villages and the loss of thousands of lives. How to be safe during a tsunami? With the threat of another large-scale tsunami in 2023, it's essential to take all the safety measures to protect yourself, your loved ones, and your precious belongings. 
To ensure your safety during a tsunami, it's crucial to be educated and prepared. Understanding the risks and warning signs associated with tsunamis is paramount. Natural indicators such as earthquakes, rapid sea level changes, and a roaring sound from the ocean should be recognized as potential signs of an approaching tsunami. Stay informed about emergency warning systems and evacuation routes established in your area, as this knowledge can prove to be life-saving. Creating an emergency plan is essential for both you and your loved ones. Develop a comprehensive plan that includes evacuation procedures, rendezvous points, and communication strategies. Assign responsibilities to each family member to facilitate a smooth and organized response. Make sure everyone understands the plan and conducts regular drills or simulations to practice the emergency procedures. When a tsunami warning is issued or signs of an approaching tsunami are observed, immediate action is necessary. Do not hesitate or underestimate the danger. Follow evacuation orders promptly, waiting until the last moment can result in traffic congestion and limited time to escape. Move to higher ground or designated evacuation areas as directed by local authorities. It's important to understand that tsunamis can travel inland and affect coastal areas, so moving to elevated areas or inland locations is crucial. Identifying safe zones in your area is vital. These safe zones are typically elevated areas or buildings that are far enough inland and above the potential tsunami inundation zone. They may include high ground, sturdy multi-story buildings, or designated evacuation centers. Please familiarize yourself with the locations of these safe zones and the best routes to reach them quickly in case of an emergency. Practicing these routes during drills will help ensure that you can navigate them efficiently when time is of the essence. Establishing effective communication is paramount during a tsunami event. Agree on a primary contact person within your family or group who can relay information to others in case of separation during an evacuation. Keep a list of emergency contact numbers, including local authorities, emergency services, and relief organizations. During an actual tsunami event, stay tuned to official announcements and instructions from local authorities. Maintaining an emergency supply kit is crucial. The kit should contain essential supplies such as non-perishable food, drinking water, first aid supplies, flashlights, batteries, a battery-powered radio, cash, important documents, and a whistle. Store the kit in an easily accessible location and ensure it is regularly updated. Consider specific needs such as medication, baby supplies, and pet care items when preparing your emergency supplies. Supporting community efforts to raise awareness about tsunami preparedness is very important. Participate in community drills, workshops, or educational programs to learn and share knowledge. Encourage your neighbors and friends to be informed and prepared as well. By working together and promoting community resilience, you can enhance the overall response and recovery capabilities during a tsunami event. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you liked it. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We also appreciate your feedback, so don't hesitate to express your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. We'll be back with another amazing video soon. Peace out.